Ladies and gentlemen, Bill Young here. Today, we will be making a jack-o'-lantern. Bill Young here is a professional jack-o'-lantern carver. We're gonna carve open this pumpkin, and we're gonna see what's inside once Bill Young is finished carving it up. It's a messy situation, so we're gonna be, uh, we're gonna dress for the part. Ladies and gentlemen, now that I'm prepared to make beautiful art out of this, out of this jack-o'-lantern, I will now begin. First, we need to create an incision in a northern hemisphere of this pumpkin. Looks like this pumpkin has some thick skin, so we're going to have to use the more Elaborate blade. Smells like magic. Oh, I feel. Oh. We have removed the pulp from the inside of the jack-o'-lantern. You do not want the jack-o'-lantern to be a thinking, able body when you carve out his face. Remember, uh, do not try this without the uh, supervision of an adult. Lo and behold, just like that, we have the eyes. I'm going to go ahead and say that's one eye. One eye down, one eye to go. Voila. It's a beautiful thing. You can almost... You can almost see the resemblance right there. It's a boomerang. No, it's a frisbee. No, wait. It's a mouth. How you doing? Ladies and gentlemen, I think this outshines every jack-o'-lantern I've ever seen. I am shaken in my one-piece white suit right now. I cannot even describe the fear. All right. Look at this guy. Ladies and gentlemen, it is with great joy that I tell you, we have placed the candle inside of the Jack-O-Lantern. Jack, this is a herbivore Jack-O-Lantern. And it eats other plants. It may from time to time eat other Jack-O-Lanterns. Well, I guess I can get out of this.